guys, I sure come at you today in Ray Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. I am glad to have you all here with me today, talking some Ray Shadow Legends. Uh, send us some positive vibes, some love your way, especially if you need it out there today. I say that almost every video. The reason I do is because, frankly, uh, I have my own highs and lows. We're all humans. We go through stuff in life, right? Uh, it's not always an easy ride, and sometimes it can feel like you're the only one who understands what you're going through, whether you're isolated, feeling down, going through something dramatic or, or maybe Maybe just feeling down for no reason uh just want you know if you, if that is speaking to you want you to know uh that you're not alone i am sending some positive vibes in love your way today uh we're on sir henry white's uh account here on raid not yours truly you might savvy old time viewers might recognize sir henry white is my free to play thumbnail artist i know he's free to play because he gets all these juicy juicy warrior circle offers just enticing him to spend a buck in the game your reward will be great behold. are you sure about that <laughs> whoopsie now behold come on one quid henry wait is this that it's not that good excuse me Blake. It's 800 gems. I guess it is that good. Anyway, I digress. I, I hit up Henry about once a week just asking what he's up to inside Raid. And I ask if he's invested in any champions that maybe I may have missed that he's been loving lately. And he had a really interesting answer. Now, usually I share these champions and do a guide on them on my Raid Shadow Legends Champion Guides YouTube channel where all I do is champion guides. But today, it was a rare. It was a rare. And I'm like, oh, man. Rarely do I get to talk about new good rare champions in the game. They're few and far between. And we actually mentioned this guy, Flannon. Good old Bo Smith Flannon on my every rare worth taking the six stars video that I put out a day or two ago. Uh, and I hypothesize, hey, this guy seems pretty dang good, especially for a rare. Let's start by the fact that he's defense based. He's Sylvan Watcher, so a lot of people I'm sure can use him who are trying to progress in the Sylvan Watcher's faction wars. Uh, he's defense based, so he's not scoring squishy right and most rares are moreover his base defense is higher than a lot of even defense base epics 1365 that's a very impressive number for a rare champion it's got to be one of the highest defenses out there for rares 97 speed about average maybe slightly above for a rare and his hp is okay verging flirting with that 16k threshold uh what does he do though first of all what is a bow smith do they make like bows like bow and arrows. I literally, before this video, I, I googled bow, like B-O-U-G-H, and I got nothing, so. Uh, uh, maybe somebody should have asked me. I'm assuming he's a blacksmith, but only for bows. That's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, you guys know any of you Renaissance Fair folks out there? Uh, you, you let me know in the comments below. Never mind. By the way, no disrespect. I actually went to a Renaissance Fair once and I freaking loved it. It was awesome. Anyway, strike the anvil. Attack one enemy two times. Each hit has a 35, but it can be booked a 40% chance uh, of placing a stun for one turn. A 40% stun on an A1 on each hit from a rare is extraordinarily good. That's very, very solid. Moreover, though, each hit also has a 50% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 5%, and it keeps getting better. If they're under a decreased speed, which he has at 100% land rate on his A2, we'll get to that in a moment, uh, decrease the target's turn meter by 10% instead. That's 10% on each hit, potentially, right? It's a 50% chance at landing. Uh, that's a lot of control. This has got to be... It's got to be one of the best A1s for a rare in terms of control, right? I, I can't think of anyone that's better. On the Shatter Knees, his A2 ability. It's a three-turn cooldown when booked. AoE attack, defense-based damage, 100% decreased speed for two turns. I love decreased speed. It's my favorite debuff in the game. I'm not saying it's the best, but I love it. Like I look for I've, I've said this 100 times on the channel. I try to look for it in every battle I possibly can. It's the weak version. But the weak version is better than no version, right? On the A3, Muster Smith places an increased attack on all, ac excuse me, increased accuracy on all allies for two turns, then teams up with a random ally to attack a target enemy. Well, it's a random ally. That's usually always the case, right? Uh, but a target enemy allows us to choose who we're attacking, which is nice, handy when we're going against like the Ice Golem or, you know, a variety of bosses that have those minions as well. Uh, so, 
we can choose the enemy, we can have an ally join in, and we place increased accuracy on all allies. Now, it is the weak version of increased accuracy, but it's increased accuracy nonetheless. Another buff that can be difficult to find, especially in the early game. The cool thing about Bowsmith is, whether you're early game or end game, he can absolutely help you out because of the restrictive content. Cursed City, there's a floor. We're actually going to tackle this. I don't know if we'll beat it. It's one of those RNG laden, uh, like almost every Cursed City uh, stage. It's it's annoying. It's the more to macabre in, in the hard track. It's uh, you'll see in a moment. Anyway, I digress. It's nice to have the increased accuracy. And listen, it's a weak ally attack. It's one ally, but he's also joining the attack, which again, it really allows us to revisit that a one and how strong that is. So we get another chance at a stun in turn meter reduction on the a three, right? Moreover, we do get, you know, maybe it's a cold heart. Maybe it's four hits off the A1 of a cold heart, right? So it's very good for Fire Knight as well. On the path, this is where everything really comes together. Hammer Rhythm, it's a three-turn cooldown, but it's not that... It's not that bad of a thing that's a three-turn cooldown because it synergizes with the A2, which is also a three-turn cooldown. Has a 50% chance of granting an extra turn when this champion places a decreased speed on three or more enemies with their A2 really cool what does that allow us to do with this dude it allows us to build him somewhat fast to lead in with the a2 against wave content anywhere there's wave content right or a boss and two minions we, we place the decreased speed and then in one turn you know technically two but you guys would get what i'm saying you open with this you take an immediate extra turn and then you get an increased accuracy on everybody. You go in with an ally to attack somebody. And in the same kind of turn sequence, you get the stun or the the the, de or the, the turn meter decrease. You've already applied the decrease speed. So in one turn with this rare, you actually get to use all of his abilities. That's pretty freaking cool, man. Like he's a very well-designed rare champion. Uh, really cool. What do the reviews say? They give him great reviews. Faction Wars. Campaign, Minnow, Fire Knight, Dragon, I guess progression, right? Ice Goal, I mean, he's getting great reviews basically across the board. Very, very cool rare champion. I think he's a great addition. I would like to see more rares like this, right? So I'm on the free-to-play account, so you're going to get a very free-to-play build here, ladies and gentlemen. Brother, ugh. None of this dirty pay-to-win crack and whale ash, right? By the way, <laughs> I was on, apropos of absolutely nothing, I was on the Fateless podcast. Uh, I'm a member of the, the ownership board director's team on Fateless Game Studio. Game coming out next year is going to be awesome, I, I think. I hope. I think. <laughs> so far, it looks awesome. I was on their podcast about an hour long. You can hear a little bit of my backstory if you want to. But the top comment on this video was like, Ash is pretty decent for a whale. I think I take that as a compliment. Bo Smith Flan, how does how does Sir Henry have him built? He has him built in immortal gear, two immortal sets, in a resilience set. So this is a great strategy. Why? Because he wants survivability first and foremost out of this champion. And we always say this here on the channel. You need to keep them alive, you know, to take advantage of any of their abilities, right? So first and foremost, survivability is going to be uh, paramount to, to building any champion. After that, obviously, priority stats are going to be uh, uh, accuracy, speed, defense, and then you could build some crit rate, crit damage. This dude's multipliers are not that bad considering my man has, uh, you know, an AOE attack defense base with that high of a defense. Let's take a look at him real quick. So hellhades.com says he has a 1.6 multiplier on his A1 two-time hitter, a 3.4 multiplier on the AOE. That's not bad. He can put out like some decent supporty type damage. You know, he's not going to be your main damage dealer, but it's not awful, right? But in this use case, Sir Henry's doing the smart thing. He's taking advantage of the thing that he really needs, and that's accuracy for those debuffs and that control. It's a control and survive build here. Uh, other ways to build this champion are obviously in just like old school defense set, in perception set. Perception still like the best two piece set in the game, or it's certainly up there. Uh, he doesn't even have him fully up all this gear fully upgraded. Again, it's the life of a free to play, right? At level 12, 12, 12 at the top. He did get a nice speed roll there, and then he has uh, accuracy on the banner. He has HP on the amulet. He has revenge ring of hp on the uh, level 12 on the ring but he's still able to get 60k hp enough survivability speed and accuracy to get the job done here uh he has no masteries but thanks to good old hellhades.com here's the mastery recommendation that they give let's see if we agree or we disagree with these mastery selection uh 
I think we agree. I think we agree. I like that they came down here as a tier six, picked out War Master, picked out Life Drinker along the way, heal along the way. He's already tanky. Let's double down on that, get some heals, especially if we're going to build them for a little bit of damage with that War Master. We go support tree, accuracy, accuracy, accuracy everywhere. And then we come down Master Hexer to extend the duration of the decreased speed. Uh, not bad. I, I, I totally stand behind these uh, mastery choices here. So that's the direction that I would go. Uh, we do have them booked out, but we do not have them mastery out in today's video nor are we building him for damage but you guys saw the multipliers now, i'm here to do good for you and me the both of us Let's go ahead and jump into it here you know let's start in fire knight right fire knight dark fey faction wars and then any wave content or where this dude's really going to help you out, right? If you're trying to uh, borderline, should you build them or not? And then, of course, again, restrictive content, Doom Tower, uh, uh, you know, secret rooms and, and Curse City, as we already mentioned. So here's the team, guys. We got Apothecary. We got Newt. We got Fat Man, Stag Knight, and the man, the myth, the legend. Good old Flannon, Bo Smith. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. I'll, I'll, I'll come back at you guys when we get to the Fire Knight, but just so you can kind of see the magic of Bo Smith in action here. We're going to come in with the AoE decrease speed. We got a 50 50 shot at getting an extra turn here. Hopefully, we get it. And we do. Extra turn, perfect. So decrease speed applied to everybody. And then we get to basically decide who do we want a great chance at stunning here. This team, uh, I guess we'll go after Errol, right? It's kind of a no-brainer. Boom. And we didn't land the stun, but we did reduce his turn meter all the way. He's under the decrease speed, so we get two shots at 10% turn meter uh, decrease. Super solid all in one turn, right? I'll come back to you guys when we get to the Fire Knight. All right, guys, here we go approaching the Fire Knight himself. Let's go ahead and A1 with Mr. Newt. Let's get in there with a... Yeah, let's hope that we get, I don't know, Apothecary joining in or Newt on the ally attack. We get Apothecary, so again, we're getting the full four hits, absolutely. Get a couple more chips there. Let's go ahead and beat down with Fat Man. And then on that A1, we're getting a lot of turn meter decrease as well uh, from Newt and from Bo Smith. Let's go ahead and get that increased speed down from Apothecary. Let's go ahead and pop some Blessed Bash there with Mr. Newt. Again, that definitely speeds the run up quite a bit. Uh, let's try to land that decreased speed. That's going to be great. Uh, let's land the debuffs with Stagnite. And then let's... Uh Let's land a little bit else, too. Hell, Hell Hades is playing in the background. The, the ad is playing in the background here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not. All right, we're back. We're back. All right, let's go A1 here on new. Turn meter, turn meter, turn meter. Okay, great, great, great. And now A1, again with Bo Smith. More turn meter decrease, right? We hit one out of the two. Not bad. Uh, the only issue in this team is Stagnite is also applying... Uh, the decreased speed. We actually don't really want, even though he has the big version, which you could argue is 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 preferable. We kind of want the chance to reduce the turn meter by 10% uh, on each hit, and that needs to be his decreased speed. But we'll be okay either way. Uh, let's get the increased speed back on there. Looks like Fire Knight might get a turn. He might not. Let's see. What do you guys think? I think we got him. Let's ally attack this guy. Boom. Not only do we get... Ah, we didn't get any turn meter there. Let's ally attack with Fat Man too. Screw it. Get in there. There you go, Bo Smith. Both Bo Smith and uh, Stag Knight both decreased turn meter there. Not bad. And you can see... Very competent Fire Knight hero with all that control, especially considering he has a single target or actually only a double target on his A1. Defense percentage, regen, nah, I don't think he'll want it. I don't think he'll want it. You always wonder, you know, where your threshold of gear is and where the free-to-plays is or where anybody else is innocent for that matter, you know? Curse City. Yeah, I'm actually super impressed. I don't know if, uh, what you guys think of this, but Curse City hard. It's hard difficulty, as you can see. Look at the progress that he's made here. Like, really, really solid. Uh, so, he was stuck at uh, S8, Soul Cross uh, level 8 here. Very tricky stage. Very tricky. Uh, it's very RNG-laden, as, as are all of these 
these stupid cursed city levels. The good news is it's free rewards because it takes no resources. Very generous of you. Like that's the really good thing that I'll never, I'll never not mention. Forgive the double negative when I talk about Curse City. Uh, the bad news is, is God, you want to bang your head against the wall in some of these uh, stages. Anyway, I digress. We have Duden, we have uh, Durr, we have Mist Rider, we have Zargala, but this dude, Bo Smith Flannon, was the key to Henry beating this level. He built him just for this stage, uh, and he ended up being the absolute only champion that could have got him through, you know, that he had available, right, to build. So we're gonna open up. I'm probably not gonna beat it on the first try, but we're gonna open up. We do land decreased speed on everybody, but we did, we lost that coin flip for the extra turn, which would have been really nice. Uh, the key to this floor is, is we absolutely, it's a second, well, it's a second wave, the second wave. It's more to macabre. The problem is, is the first wave can be a pain too. We have this decision to make right now in the battle. Do we want to go in with a big nuke of Mist Rider and kill almost everybody except for Queen Ava? Or do we want to save it? I go for it, but, well, you'll see. You'll see what's going to happen here. We don't have enough HP left on these mobs to A1 cycles. Our gal is going to kill Queen Ava right now. Or she'll weak hit, which is even better. But then we get that extra turn, which is nice. Uh... It all becomes a battle of RNG on can we stun more to Macabre. So here we go. We're going to open up with that ally attack. Remember, he's going to use his A1. Can we land the stun? It's a bad affinity matchup, and we can't. He gets, and we block revive. Fun stuff, huh? So we basically keep going until he can land the stun, and then we pray that we can get, let's see if he gets the extra turn. Didn't get the extra turn again. Come on, man. It's his big highlight, Plarium. Give him a little bit of RNG luck. You know, come on. Not even luck. Just let it go his way, right? All right, there we go. We shoot. We get one shot everybody, which is actually even worse. Let's go in there. Let's land that stun. We land it. All right. Fiery Rage proc'd too, if I'm not mistaken there. It happened fast. All right, so we land the stun. <laughs> now we can put the taunt on. And we're going to start with Tyrant because he has the annoying, uh, he has the annoying ally protect and the increased defense and the burn and everything else. He does do the burn. That's okay. We just can't let him take another turn. We do land a stun off the A1, which is great. But look at this. Look at all this baloney here. And here comes more two with the big AOE times two in a second. Uh, we do have a reviver on the team, so we're not like totally screwed yet. Uh, but I did not see any, uh, I should have went for somebody else there. I didn't see anything, I didn't see any Fiery Rage proc on, uh, on Mortu. So, it's pretty, I think this one's pretty much lost, but we can revive real quick, maybe. No, we didn't. I'll come back to you guys when we actually get a little bit of decent, better RNG. All right, guys, after about, uh, I don't know, 40 tries, we've actually got Mortu Macabre to the point where he's close to dead. The bad news is we did lose Zargala to Peril, so we're no Zargala, we're low on health. I haven't properly A1 cycled everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and hopefully get a, okay, we land a stun there. Actually, everybody is cycled right now, so... Well, we've got a shot at least. We've got a shot. Now we're definitely cycled. All right, here we go, guys. Bellinor, Lana Theral, two Delianas, and Lysandra. Oh, God. Here we go. So Deliana and Bellinor can... They're the biggest... Well, everybody's a threat here. Who am I kidding? Uh, I think I really want a shield. I need the shield. I need the shield. Uh, let's do the, let's wait for the extra turn. Let's do the nuke first. I don't think we're going to be able to place it on everybody because of stupid Lysandra here. Let's see. Lysandra? Nope. Darn. 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 Well, I think we played everything as best we could. This is the most annoying wave ever. It is so annoying. Listen, guys, I'm going to try one more time here, but you can see that Sir Henry, he toiled and uh, completed it. Where the heck am I? Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, here's the proof. This team, it got it done. Just need better RNG. One more time. Ah! Oh, this is so annoying. It has been way too long that I have been doing this, uh, that I've cut out in between, right? 
but this is like this is the name of the game here right this is the name of the game in terms of uh, curse city this is what it's like right so we come in here we kill almost everybody we kill lydia i tried not using the nuke a, a bunch of times too it's just they, they nuke us with all those rays and stuff they just nuke us down really quickly uh come in here again Decreased speed on everybody. We didn't get the extra turn. I didn't see a fiery rage, so I'm not even going to bother with Mortu Macabre. How, although, the sucky thing about Mortu Macabre is, is that he's uh, he has the block. All of his abilities are annoying, right? He has the block buffs on the A2 on the AoE. Get the other extra. Ah, I need a lot of extra turns there on Mist Rider uh, as well uh, for things to go great. Let's see what happens here. We do land the stun on Tyrant. That's important. It's going to keep us from... Uh, he goes in block buffs. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just get the highest turn meter there. Let's revive these guys. Let's... Yeah, let's shield. I'm gonna need it, you know? I don't know. You think we can kill? You think his Zargala can kill uh, Tyrant? It's only game. I really needed that. I really needed it. All right, we need to get this stun. Stun! Yes! Yes, Bo Smith! Yes! All right, things are actually looking pretty good so far. Pretty good. Not anywhere close to over yet, but uh, let's kill Tyrant. At least you want to deal with the ally, protect the increased defense, all that stuff, right? Uh, let's go again. Wait, we landed the stun, guys. We landed it. I meant to go AoE decrease speed. We landed the stun. Now's our shot. Uh, we got two big provokes coming our way on... Or actually, it's he, they're a skill away from that. Let's try to land a stun here. 10% stun on Durs A1. Uh, times two hitter, though. Let's go ahead and get the taunt up again. Okay, great, great, great. Let's just do it. AoE decrease defense. Cool. Uh, Bowsmith. Let's try to land it again, guys. No. Let's not, let's not, let's see if we can just A1 cycle our way to, for a little bit, right? Let's just A1 cycle, no reason to get super greedy here, right? We're so close. I didn't see the fire rage! Oh! That's on me, that's on me. I didn't see the fire rage, guys. Oh my god! God! Stupid curse Alright guys, I've calmed down. I've stepped away from my PC. I'm back. Clearly, Henry knows how to execute and yours surely doesn't, but that doesn't take anything away from the champion that we spotlight today. Hopefully I did a good job kind of demonstrating how special he is, unique, uh, able to take those extra turns, get around to different abilities, and have a lot of control from a rare champion who's very tanky. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you to Henry for allowing me to use his account as well today. Uh, keep the champion guide request coming in the comments below, especially if there's a champion that you absolutely love that we haven't spotlight here in a while on the channel or a new champion at that much love and as always take care guys